As a kid, I grew up loving sushi. They tasted delicious and were said to be healthy. Great flavors without the unhealthy problems. A real superfood. I thought, how cool would it be if one day I could work at a sushi restaurant? And that wish came true when I landed my job in Sushi Hub last year in November and here are seven things I learned while working there. Number one, free food. This doesn't apply to all sushi restaurants. Some will instead offer a discount to on-shift staff members. In the place I worked at, you were free to help yourself to as many inari, nigiri, and maki rolls that can fit on one single plate during your unpaid break. Anything else like sashimi and salads would cost you money. The staff discount was 20%, although if you work during closing shifts, unsold goods can be taken home at the owner's discretion. Number two, you don't get to make sushi right away. Starting out, the senior workers will generally make you do all the dirty work, like prepping ingredients, cleaning the tables, walls, floors, dishes, and that giant deep fry that takes forever, and running errands for them to make their job easier whilst constantly interrupting your tasks. It can feel as if they are taking advantage of you, which they totally are. This can last for a couple weeks to months or even years. When I worked there, all the dirty work was done by me. But once you progress to sushi making and have someone else replace you, the job becomes a lot easier and relaxing. Number three, sushi makes you fat very quickly. This came as a surprise to me. I put on so much weight so fast during just a few months of working. I gained over seven kilograms in a very short amount of time and my jeans wouldn't even fit. I changed my diet to only eating the healthiest sushi I could find, which was the brown rice salmon avocado rolls, but that did not help either. So why did I keep gaining weight while eating something that is supposed to be healthy? Well, there are several factors depending on how the sushi is made. Here's a list of ingredients used for the sushi rice vinegar that I secretly took. Another cause of weight gain are the mayonnaise and teriyaki sauce, both packed with fat and sugar respectively. These can be found on most nigiris, but they can also sneak their way into your maki rolls. In my case, the brown rice salmon avocado roll was laced with mayonnaise and vinegar being the two main contributing factors to my weight gain. Lastly, look out for the amount of short grain white rice you eat as it is high in glucose and starch. In other words, high in blood sugar and carbs. Number four, the restaurant environment. Depending on management, you could get screamed at at every moment. In a tightly packed kitchen, having piles of greasy sauce-filled containers being thrown into your recently washed dishes, or being told off for adding two extra grams of baby octopus onto the inari that you're making, there's just no regard or care for how you're treated in there. It was all about efficiency, speed, and profit. Mistakes happen, and when you mess up preparing those ingredients, instead of any support or guidance, your colleagues and the store owner will take it upon themselves to ensure you feel miserable for the rest of your day. With that being said, every restaurant's run differently and this was just my experience. As a result, the staff turnover rate was high, staff morale was low and customer service poor. But the food was delicious and produced at extremely fast rate. This has been consistently reflected on their Google reviews. The restaurant survives primarily on its fast service by hiring customers to maximize sales in a seemingly endless queue of hungry patrons. Number five, making sushi is fun and rewarding. I started off making inari and continued cleaning. Then I graduated to assembling salads, nigiri, sushi sandwiches, dragon rolls, and finally, maki rolls. I never got the chance to slice the sashimi and eel though, but that takes a lot of practice. The longer I worked, the faster and more presentable my creations became and it gave me a great sense of pride and joy just seeing my work improve. The restaurant owner will often time me on speed and inspect my work. Also, at this point, they hired new staff to completely take over my slave duties that I once did. I dislike the idea of piling tasks onto a new guy who already has so much on his plate. And remembering my roots, I did what I could to not be like my senior colleagues. Sometimes I would finish my work early and help wash all the dishes and machines in the back, just doing that little bit of extra work for the new guy who is stuck preparing tuna salad for the last two hours would be allowed to finish on time. The job itself was nice and relaxing and any less work just didn't feel right. Number six, everything is automated. At Sushi Hub, the machines automate the entire sushi making process like washing and cooking the rice, mixing the vinegar into the rice. There were also machines that would create the nigiri base and lay the sheet of rice on the seaweed for you. Number seven, almost everything is frozen. What's going on here? What's all this stuff floating in water? That's a group are taken out from the freezer and we keep it fresh frozen. Fresh frozen? Yes, sir. There's no such thing. It's either fresh or it's frozen. This came as a shock to me considering their marketing slogan is so fresh, so good. 
It was a fresh frozen. There are exceptions like the salmon and chicken breast, but what you'll find is every other meat and some veggies are frozen and defrosted depending on the demands of the business. All the deep fried items such as tamagoyaki, prawn katsu, ebi, and veggie tempura go from being factory made, frozen solid, straight into the deep fryer. Another example that may surprise you is the fresh scallop nigiri, the lobster salad and scampi, seemingly fresh ingredients, all kept frozen and defrosted on the day of consumption. Overall, if I can see past some of my ex-work colleagues, Sushi Hop has been a delicious and fun working experience. The kitchen's clean, the food's tasty and healthier than other fast food alternatives, and I wouldn't mind working in another sushi restaurant in the future. There is just so much I learned while working there and seemingly so much more to learn. And for that, I am truly grateful. Just remember, the next time you pick up fast food sushi to eat, it's nutritious and probably unhealthy. Enjoy sushi in moderation. Take care guys. Cheers.